is Zoe, is she actually being selfless for once? Hey y'all, welcome to the after show where we talk about the tea after each episode. I am your host Deuce. And today we're talking about episode six of season two of Grownish. Um, oh, that sounded weird. Anyway, episode six of season two of Grownish, Love Galore. I would play the song Love Galore, but last time I did that, my video got copyrighted. So we're just gonna keep it uh just me and no extra audio. So um, yeah. Zoe did, Zoe was actually selfless, and she actually cared more about Luca than herself. But we're gonna skirt, skirt past that, cause first, we gotta do branding. Um, y'all should, y'all should follow me on Twitter, at Producer Posts, for live tweets, and to follow my journey for doing, um, what's it called? Um, February Fits, where we, t where I display Black-owned businesses, um, as much as I can, except for today, because honestly, I wear this hoodie a lot, and a lot of people know about this brand. But if you don't, stay woke, stay black. Um, but they haven't, they don't make any hoodies anyway anymore. Um, so that's the main reason. Um, and of course, check out my other content. I do, I review episodes. I might review a new series on Netflix. It's going to be two two Netflix originals. It's going to be a series or a movie. I don't know. Let's see how my scheduling is. And excuse me, I perform poetry. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, on to the discussion. So yeah, Zuka has been having some challenges um, throughout the seasons, but they've both been challenged. I mean, they both are being challenged in this episode. So Zoe's being jealous because uh, Michelle Obama, which we'll discuss, is coming to the fashion thing she regrets her and now she's thinking about her decision she's like wow not only am i jealous of luca and his talent but now i'm second guessing dropping this class which we never found out what that class is being substituted for so what are you working towards if you drop it don't you gotta replace with them or is that just my ignorance of college speaking i don't know and Luca is also being challenged because he's being discouraged because everyone put this pressure on him being a genius and so much fact, and so much that he doesn't like the word genius. So the two actually work together, not with their own interests, but together for the common goal of impressing Michelle Obama. And they did. And I'm like, that's that's really nice. This is probably like the best part of Zuka. In fact, when when uh, Luca showed Zoe that um that shoe. For Michelle Obama? Yes, like that's the uh, y'all that's the uh, only little bit that'll make me um support Zuka. A little bit, because I still think Zoe can't handle a relationship. And even if she were to have a relationship, I think it should be with Aaron, but that's besides that. And I would talk about Aaron, but I think we should talk about little I mean Miss Michelle Obama first. So yeah, Zoe didn't um really care about anything. She was she was like, oh yeah, I'm here for you, Luca, and this, this, and that. But then when she heard about Michelle Obama, she was like, whoa, I got to do this. And she started getting really selfish about it. But then her high friends started talking her to this. She was like, you need to support your man and don't make this all about you, which she didn't, which again, I'm very proud of her for. But yeah, Michelle Obama, um, we all thought she was going to, I honestly thought we were going to make a cameo because I, I guess since... My dumb self forgetting that she just wrote a whole book. She don't got time to be filming TV shows. And we would have definitely saw the behind the scenes on that. Huh? For some advertising, Michelle Obama? We would have saw that. But you know what we did see? Telfy's thirst. He was so pressed. And he just kept referring to Barack Obama as dude. Oh, dude, so with her, right? And now what I like, what they did, since it's a fictional universe, but they like to drop pop culture references. Um, They said our... Uh, president and then they also said our first lady of the United States meaning Trump does not exist because he's still the president that's a nice little feature I like that y'all kept that we have a side story here about the twins um, and they're talking to Aaron and Vivek 
um about i was about to get i was about to get mad but i didn't finish my statement first about uh women in sports and how they use sex to sell and um if you want to use sex to sell i don't have a problem with that if it's on your own volition but they were really mad about it because the girl was getting more clout than them even though she didn't really do that well in the game it's just her double d's um, her, her, her definite dribbles, uh, I should have thought this through, but yeah, her, her definite dribbles, um, her, no, her double, no, double dribbles, yeah, because she can't play, she laughed only four points, so her, her double dribbles, that's what I'm gonna call it, and, um, and so yeah, they didn't like how she was getting more clout than them, but they undercut this entire argument by actually doing it because YG follows her and they want to be like YG. Well, mostly Sky, which by the way, Sky needs her own episode. She needs some type of arc, some story. She's just there. I don't like it. And Vivek, um, I don't know if y'all noticed this. Vivek is very centered around money. Y'all thought Mr. Krabs? No, y'all need to peep Vivek. Vivek likes status and he likes money and he likes people with status and money. That's why he sells drugs. I don't know if we're ever going to get into this, but I would like for them to dissect that. And I think it has to do with him being the son of a taxi driver and he's really ashamed of that. But I think that's really interesting. And I don't think they're exploring it more. They're just using him just as a token non-black POC, in my opinion. Like, Anna is a bit more interesting than him. I don't like her, but she's interesting. I'm just disgusted. Like, Anna and Aaron, y'all are disgusting. Anna, weren't you, like, a devout Catholic or something? I thought you was, I thought you was all more pious, but I guess not. I guess not, but then again, she's high. She kissed a girl, so I guess she's trying to break all the norms so but yeah um why is gina rodriguez and malcolm extra out here sending these disgusting texts now i was watching gina's vlogging she was also talking about um this relationship which had me dying because she was like well she thought it was funny that aaron talking about chastity's like oh the twins need to support chastity because she's a beautiful black woman like you but you talk about supporting beautiful black women but you're dating Anna. I mean, Gina Rodriguez. I mean, that's... We're not even going to talk about you being pro-black and interracial or interracially. Because honestly, Aaron does not say the most sound things. Let's not forget him saying, complaining about the blackboard turning into whiteboards. Or, 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 let's not forget him having a disgusting light skin fetish. And then he got this random dark skin girl um, to prove how he was open to all. But he literally used her as a prop. He didn't even let her speak that much. Like, he's, he's not that pro-black in my opinion. So him and Trillian Day, okay. It's proving everything we already saw, okay? So, and um, Anna and Aaron need to tell Zoe before Zoe finds out. She's going to be very upset. But hey, none of my business. And that was this episode. And that's the end of the after show. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, Like I said, tune into my other after shows and other content on the channel. Be on the lookout because I might do, um, uh, what's it called? A review. It's either going to be a movie review or... Or I'm going to do an outlet episode on a Netflix excuse me, original. If they're both good. I really hope they're good. Because I don't like to review stuff I don't like. Uh -huh. I don't like to do that. And that's if I have time too. Um, I finished a bunch of scholarships. So I should have time. But these teachers. This weekend. Shoot, this weekend. I got six essays to write. Due Wednesday. And I have um, this math project. Due next Friday. So... We're going to see if y'all get that content because I might be too burned out. So anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Check out my other stuff and I'll see y'all when I'm Celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate.